hope you all are doing well and i am back again live and this time i am going to speak to someone who is really ruling everyone's heart and now she has become the second k pop from india she's from kerala and she is you know doing wonders and yes we are going to speak to her and uh, let's see if she has joined us the one and only arya is going to be with us and we are going to speak about how she joined the k pop and what are her future projects and how is she going to go so let me see if she has joined me arya if you can see me farafat come on in <laughs> so k drama k pops are like they are very very uh, interesting and uh, people are loving them because everyone is going to get to see something different and uh, k pop is now you know trending so some or the other way if you guys also love k pop and uh, want to ask few questions you can drop the questions right down there in the comment box and let's see if we can you know we'll try our level best to give all the answers but yes i'm surely uh, i'm super excited to speak to arya she is second k pop from india and this is again a very big achievement altogether Okay, I think I have joined her. <laughs> hey, Hello. beautiful! How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh my God! Firstly, a big congratulations to you, Arya. You are rocking. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Arya, let's start with the first thing. first okay. and how it all started how you got influenced uh, with this k pop okay so i guess i was in 7th or 8th grade i was at okay. home uh, after school i was at home i was just watching tv and then uh, bts seniors their music video came out and i was like i was like oh, what is this and i couldn't understand the language at first i was like hmm? but the music was really good and even the dance everything was really like interesting so i was mm -hmm. like I kept watching the screen and was like, I need to look them up. And then I looked them up out of curiosity, and then I got hooked. And here I am. Wow! So, uh, this is this is one of my uh, question that uh, have you got any sort of training in you know speaking the Korean mm -hmm. language? Did you learn it by yourself, or did you uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, get to learn it from someone who's you know? perfectly fine with the korean accent and a trainer something like that well in my school there were a lot of like uh, ethnically korean people like my founder mm. of my school she was korean and i was really close with her daughter and we even visited korea back in 2019 so uh, for that i need to prepare i had uh, needed to prepare some korean so i studied online for that like mm. by myself at the sites and studied Uh, did some self study and then also learned from like my people from the school and then yeah i i was really interested in kpop itself so i also watched a lot of dramas and then picked on stuff from here and there very and nice coming so here, I, yeah <laughs> after coming here i spoke to the onnis like I keep talking to them in Korean. Like my producer, he's always like, "Don't speak in English. You have to speak in Korean. Korean, otherwise you're not gonna improve." So instead of speaking in English, we use Korean with each other. So that's a wow. That's that's amazing, Arya. So what is that one thing you love about K-pop? Ah, well, I like everything about K-pop. Of course, the music, definitely the music, but also the well-made performances. So I really like dance. I really enjoy doing dances. So. for me watching such well made performances it's it's really always really fascinating and i always wanted to be a part of it so yeah nice so uh, arya are you musically trained oh uh, well not really i took vocal classes for like a very short period of time and that's about mm -hmm. it nothing apart from that 
great so uh, you know this is very difficult while you're singing you're dancing again you know managing both at the same time this is actually very very tough because when yeah. you are moving even you are not able to speak properly how do you yeah. manage to you know dance and sing at the same time it's it's really hard so like after rehearsals our producer always say you need to careful of your breathing because when you breathe too loud it's like really mm. audible so we have to all, always like make sure we don't breathe too hard and always mm-hmm. like manage the mic so it's it's kind of hard but i guess and i'm still improving i'm still not there yet i hope i can do better that's cool so you're the second k pop from india you belong to kerala and <laughs> some of the other way you are getting love from all over the world all over from the kerala and india so some of the other way this is a very very uh, overwhelming feeling i guess so how it is feeling it feels it feels so good because i did not expect a lot of people to show so so much love and support uh, like even before pre, uh, before our debut from the pre debut itself i saw a lot of messages i received a lot of messages and like uh, there were lots of people sending love and i was like do i really deserve this I didn't even debut yet, but I'm so thankful for all the people, for all the interest and love. Yes, also I'm from Kerala, and I'm uh, like I I get a lot of Malayalam messages, and I feel so I feel so proud and happy as well. I was born in Kerala, and I was in Kerala up until like fifth grade, and then I moved to Mumbai. I grew up in Mumbai, did my high school, everything in Mumbai. So yeah, Kerala and Mumbai. Very nice. I see a lot. So, people. what are your parents' reaction? <laughs> So at first when I uh, talked to them about K-pop like way back 7 mm-hmm. years ago so they were like yeah. at first they was I, I told them uh, I would like to try this and they thought they I was joking and mm-hmm. they was like okay okay they they were like just, just they just laughed it off they thought this was a phase and it was going to change but then right. uh, after like high I, I finished my high school I was like why not we try now and then I passed the audition I got the invitation to be here and then they were like Mm, okay but they were like of course they were sad to send me away but they were like if this is what you really want to do if this is what you really want to pursue then we won't be against it so i'm really thankful that they're supportive that's cool okay so tell us something about your group like how is it all going in there mm-hmm. well excellent consists of five members like th- we have three koreans and me and then one mm-hmm. russian member so all of us like uh, our ages are different but we still get along a lot like we get along really well together we're really comfortable with each other we have right. like for me i have different chemistries with everyone so, and it's really fun like at, at first when i came here, i even told them that i was really nervous i was really scared i wouldn't know i like i was i was like i didn't know how they would react to like me or how they would be interacting with me there would be language problems other problems mm-hmm. but they were like really nice and welcoming also our company people everybody's like really warm and nice so yeah so nice all right so arya tell me one thing what is the the most 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 uh, close thing that you are missing you know from <laughs> india and you know about your place that you have grown up well of course obviously my family and friends but also the food <laughs> I love <laughs> Korean food but of course I I grew up eating Indian food so I keep craving it every day especially my mom's food so I really really miss mom's food so what is is that you're missing any any certain dish certain dish hmm. it's it's different every day that's funny because today I want to eat something and the next day it's something different it's different <laughs> every day so every day I call my mom and I'm like mom I want to eat this today and the next day I'm like I want to eat this today <laughs> it's different <every> day. <laughs> cool So uh now this is the you know uh, what your fans are waiting to listen to so what are your coming projects and you know uh, how are you going to go there uh, currently we are uh, uh focusing on our music shows that we are doing and also preparing for the second album so i don't know when mm. it's going to come out but we are like preparing for it now that's cool so uh, arya this is a very interesting question people are dropping down there 
I can see people are asking me that uh, you your real name is Gautami, and yes, obviously a very beautiful name, but you <laughs> changed your name as Arya. So how is this transformation <laughs> have gone? Uh, so uh, from Gautami to Arya. Gautami is my real name. Uh, like it in it's in my documents, so it's like my official name. Uh, everybody actually calls me Ami. Ami is my nickname. So even in school, everybody calls me Ami, like except the teachers. Everybody calls me Ami. That's what everybody usually calls me. So nobody uses Gautami usually. So after coming here, they we were like we were told to choose stage names, and I was like I made a whole list and then I read it out to our producer and he picked Arya. Cool. Okay. So are you going to try your hands on K dramas also? Well, definitely if I'm given the opportunity. I mean, I'm a huge fan, huge fan and I watched a lot of K dramas and uh I used to be a child actress in back in India, so I really want to try acting again and if if it is in K drama it would be amazing. Acha, any any plans to come down to Bollywood? Something like that? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I mean, if I'm given the opportunity and if it's like everything goes well then maybe. Cool. So Oh, uh, any certain music that you you really love and you would want to uh, you know that uh, use in any any sort of Korean song or something like that. Have you like, teased any Hindi song to uh, uh, your group? Not not yet. I keep listening to music like Indian music and they listen and like oh it's cool but I haven't like really taught them anything yet. Okay. So. So oh, Arya this is this is something I really want you to do just for me any certain song that you really love any korean song or any hindi song you would want to you know sing for us sing for us yeah <laughs> oh well what song should i do well i would i would uh mm give me some time until like I'll do that until the uh before we finish the interview so that I can get some time to think. To All right. So, again, uh there are many people who just want to be like you and you know they also try their hands on uh, you know K dramas or K pops. So, mm -hmm. any certain message you would like to give to them or any mm -hmm. guidance you would like to give to them? Well, keep trying. I mean, you never know. So just keep trying, keep sending online auditions. I I don't know if there are any global auditions in India yet. Like as as far as I know there are only on, online auditions. So if you want to like really do this, take this uh path, then keep practicing and keep auditioning. All the best. That's nice. Okay. So have you thought about the song? Is it anything coming well, in your head? Uh, uh this this rap verse i've uh, practiced uh for like our evaluation i would sing that yeah it's sure. a rap verse it's from black things shut down okay i will play the song hold on and i will sing along Nah, you don't wanna be on my bad side. That's right, I'm sliding through. Don't you wanna be so wanna be me? Me three, if I was you, been around the world, pulled through the girl, be the essence we invested. Ah, uh, need a lesson, see the necklace, see the sessions we don't buy, requested. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh my <laughs> God, <laughs> amazing! <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, I I totally loved it. You are, you know, truly you're doing such a wonderful job, and people are loving you, and they love you for who you are. You're such a pretty girl, such a talented girl. Wish you all the very best. Thank you so much. And in the end, if you do, if you would like to say anything about me, all the good things. So you are most welcome. <laughs> about I'm sorry, I I didn't get you. Can you? 
<laughs> any good thing you would like to say to me any any good thing uh-huh. coming in your head oh uh, i i actually used to be a very uh, huge listener of red fm like when i used to not have a phone after school i used to come home and i had this mp3 player so mm-hmm. i listened to red fm every day 93.5 red fm Ooh. I listen to it every day, every single day. So I'm a huge listener. So I always like Red FM, and I'm really happy to be here today. When I when the producer told me I was going to be on Red FM, like I was going to have an interview with you, I was really surprised. I was uh, very honored to be here. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us, and you know, big congratulations, big tight hug, and lots and lots of love from India. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for. supporting me our uh, debut album keeping the fire is out now so please listen to it a lot and also watch the music video as lot music video a lot and please look forward to our growth and future activities as well thank you for sure lots of love take care bye bye thank you for having me bye bye